Hello and welcome to the Stories from India podcast where we talk about myths, legends and folk tales from India. I am your host Narad Muni. Yes, the Narad Muni whom you may have heard of or may not have heard of especially if you're tuning into this podcast to learn about Indian mythology. I am a sage or a wise man i have the gift of eternal life and knowledge of the past the present and the future and the ability to show up anywhere and any time if all that is not enough i also happen to be a traveling musician and a storyteller so what better way to tell my stories than by podcast now Eternal life, knowledge of the past, present and future may sound great, but such things always come with some fine print. In my case, it is that I've been cursed. I'll always tell the truth. Indeed, it's impossible for me to keep a secret, as some of these stories will show. My curse makes it impossible for anyone to believe me. You'll usually see me with a veena which is an ancient Indian stringed instrument much like the guitar and a little clapper that I used to accompany myself on the veena I've posted some links to some paintings of me in the show notes check them out Every week we'll be talking about a story from Indian mythology and folklore and we'll have a creature feature a special character of the week so to speak though i may change the format as far as possible i'll keep the episodes stand alone so you don't have to listen to them in any particular order that is going to be a bit hard though when we get to the ramayan and the mahabharat but i'll try my best Everything else that I'll be covering including Akbar Birbal stories, the Panchatantra, the Jatak tales, Vikram Betal, Tenali Raman and regional folk tales are much better suited to the standalone format. Occasionally instead of the creature feature and because I have absolute knowledge of the future I might announce the following week's winning lottery numbers before they are drawn. Maybe. Keep listening to find out. In this introductory episode, we'll keep things short. So I'm just going to tell you a small story featuring me. Yep. I'm a bona fide character from Indian mythos. So let's get right down to it. I remember this as fresh as if it were yesterday but it was actually several thousand years ago I was curious about something I had just recently heard of maya a sanskrit word that means illusion and I wanted to see a live example naturally I asked the people closest to me and the people closest to me were part of the holy trinity yep that's the kind of company i keep brahma the creator who also happens to be my father vishnu the preserver and shiva the destroyer i did not want to ask brahma because we were going through a bit of a phase then him being angry with me for refusing to marry and all that you know just some regular father son disagreement i could have gone to mount kailas to ask shiva but just then i was feeling a bit lazy and didn't want to teleport all the way there instead i asked my favorite vishnu Sure, I'd love to demonstrate," said Vishnu. "But first, 
Won't you fetch me a glass of water? My throat's gone all dry. You're a god, I thought. You don't need water, I said, and you can probably magic it. But whatever, I'll get you some from the fridge. Oh no, said Vishnu, not the fridge. I'd like water from that specific village over there. Go, fetch it for me. Seriously, where did that village come from? It wasn't there a moment ago. Okay, okay, I'm going, I said, when Vishnu glared at me. When I got to the village, I met a very charming girl there. We instantly fell for each other. We went on a few dates, our families met, then we got married. You can bet my dad was happy. I became a farmer. We had kids, and our kids had kids. Life was good. And yes, I totally, completely forgot about that glass of water. One day, as we were sitting by the fire, grandchildren on our knees, there was a massive thunderstorm. It was followed by a flood. And before I could do anything, my whole family was washed away. I was completely helpless. I could do nothing to save them. As I sat there, weeping over all those memories of all that time I had spent with them, everything around me suddenly changed, like a curtain was being cast aside. If you have seen the Avengers movies, and if you remember this scene where Thanos uses the reality stone, that's precisely what was going on here. There was Vishnu, standing right next to me and asking me for his glass of water. In this demonstration of Maya, I had experienced a whole lifetime in just an ordinary couple of minutes. Such was the power of Vishnu's Maya, even though I could have done with a gentler demonstration. So let this story serve as a disclaimer. If some of my actions appear questionable in future episodes, remember that it is because I've had a virtually traumatic past. To be fair though, since I'd had knowledge of the future, I should have foreseen what Vishnu was going to do and guarded myself against it. Exactly like Dr. Strange would have with the time stone. I did make an immediate mental note to myself to definitely ask Shiva next time I needed something demonstrated. That's all I have for this week. A couple of quick notes. The little quarrel that I referred to between me and dad, we will probably cover that in a later episode. There are some slight parallels between this story and a few other demonstrations of power in myths and legends around the world. However, unlike most of those stories, this one ends differently, in the sense that things are not reset completely. I never got to meet my wife and all those kids and grandkids again. How could I? They were all just part of the illusion. Instead, I came away amazed at Vishnu's power. Having lived for several thousands of years, it's natural for my memory to be imperfect at times. So if you see any errors in my podcast, please point them out to me. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please leave a comment or a review on the site, sfipodcast.com or tweet at SFI Podcast. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook. I'd like to thank my family and friends. 
there are far too many to call out individually. Everyone has shown incredible support ever since I announced that I'd be doing this podcast. The music is from purpleplanet.com. That's purple-planet.com. Remember to tune in next week for the first full episode. If you subscribe, you can be notified automatically when a new episode is available. Next week's episode is Unicorn Fish, which is at least as interesting as it sounds. And the creature feature is either a giant bird or a man with wings. I'll see you next week.